Trying to bite like a vampire fang. Dumb as water, been and let the nigga ang. Intelligence is only for the gentlemen, so tell the pussy niggas, yes, tricks for the kids. That's a fact, like a snapper cap tip. Lame niggas saying that they fucking demons don't want it, they lost up in the sauce in this bitch. I ain't never need a false DT, give me power or do a damn thing for me, bitch. While I'm acting like a monster, I stitch you be acting like a bitch, so I call you sis. first announced the title of your album, Stokely, um, one thing that you said was that you were going to show your fans a new side of your personality you hadn't showed before, and you were going to show them your versatility. Um, what is the side of your personality that your fans haven't seen before that you're showing on this album? Um, that's a really good question, it's like pertaining to this album. This album is really big on um, showing you guys what I can be as an artist, like who I am as an artist, it, just in versatility, not as a rapper, because I'm, I'm not, I don't like to be care, like categorized as a rapper because I'm an artist. I make music, I don't just rap, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So this is, this album is gonna exactly show them who I am and is gonna give me the bridgeway to actually make music that I'm, that I wanna make. So now I can actually, feel comfortable just taking my time making the music I want to make, which is like singing, screamo, a lot of different shit. Speaking about making the music you want to make, um, your last project, you know, you've made it clear. Um, I fucking hate my last project. Yeah, Beware of the Book of Eli. How is Stokely different from that? I don't even think I can explain it. It's just like way better. Like um, the, the, mix, the mixing on the songs, totally different. Um, the energy put into the, the whole album. I feel like whatever you put into life, like how much energy you put into something that you want is how much energy you're gonna get back. And I think that The Book of Eli like was a lesson for me. I really hate the fucking album, that, that tape, but this album speaks for itself and then my music after this will definitely. Getting back to the title of your album, right? It's Stokely. And what stood out to me is like, you know what I mean? It's it's almost like you're putting an emphasis on your first name, right? Your like actual legal name. Is there is there a reason for that? Is it because like are you trying to say that there's a difference between Ski Mask and Stokely? There definitely is a difference between Ski Mask and Stokely. Um music changed my life in so many ways. It's a blessing and a curse, you know what I mean? And um I reminisce on days of being Stokely. And it's not like you change as a person, but you have to change for people that look up to you, you know what I mean? You have to be strong for people when you don't want to be strong. You have to be clean showered, clean, clean, clean cut for people that you have to set an example. My life is like, my life is now more than just me. You know what I mean? So definitely Stokely means something more than ski mask. And Stokely is the person that randomly ran, like messages uh, my support base when they message anytime I go, I go through my message requests and anytime I really see some something about somebody saying about their life and like them wanting to give up is exactly when I like reply and I send them something like simple to get them back on track and to just not give up on themselves because I've been there too many times like I've been there too many times when I wanted to give up on myself and like end myself and just was too pussy to kill myself like to keep going. No, definitely, that's definitely inspirational. I think everyone's been at a really low point. So it's good that you're saying that this album can maybe help people get through that point. Definitely, my music is happy music. One thing I respect about X, he can bring you into a theme, but it can even be like a sad ass theme. My music is really happy music. So even if it's like a, a singing song, it's like a, and I'm getting to a lot of singing songs. Um, it's just happy music. It, wants, it, it makes you feel good. I tap into your, your forget about all my problems. Damn, this music makes me think about good things in my life. What was your favorite song to record for the album? Hmm. And why? Foster Failure. And why was that your favorite? It took me 10 minutes. 
to record that song. Every other song on my album really took me like so much time. Foster Failure took me 10 minutes. And a lot of people say, oh, when you don't think about it too much, it's your best song. I feel like when I put my mind to it and then don't think about it too much at the same time, it's the best song. You know what I mean? So um, Foster Failure was my favorite because I had just fun with it and it was just 10 minutes. It was just like, I literally didn't overthink anything. I was like, I don't want it people to be like, oh, he didn't go hard enough. I just want to have fun with the song. So, dope. And so, well, have fun with anything you do in life. Just try to remember to have fun because it's like, what the fuck is the point? Over the summer, um, you and Juice, you know, talked about dropping a mixtape or album together. Um, what's the status on that? Uh, Evil Twins. Um, Evil Twins will come 2019. Me and Juice decided we're gonna sit like a month in the same state, chill, whenever we want to though. Like we've been just recording songs. Evil Twins just came about because we just seem a lot, we see a lot of similarities into each other, you know what I mean? But we see a lot of differences. That's what also was with X, like, but X, but there was a difference between X, like X taught me how to stick up for myself, how to be aggressive, how to like do a lot of things that I didn't. I taught X how to be like suave, more like uh, how to talk to people and get what you want without fucking threatening, <laughs> threatening them. And then um, uh, I also wanted to address one other thing. Um, the people that are saying that I'm trying to uh, fill X's shoes with Juice World because his X is gone, that's definitely false. There's no way I could fill X's shoes there's no hole in my heart that I'm trying to fill because X is, will always be here with me. Um, I just respect Juice as an artist and I'm trying to put out good music and just appreciate it. No, that's dope. That sounds really genuine. You guys are both genuine people. What would you say um, is the next step for you in Very Rare, the Very Rare movement? Um, Very Rare will always be a thing. I have very rare tattoo on my face. X had very rare tattoo on his body. Very rare will always be a thing. I think I'm gonna continue that, but I'm gonna make a new group clothing brand in general. I think, no, 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 I'm gonna just make one. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep very rare as a street brand. I wanna make a new clothing brand and group. That's gonna be more and high fashion. I wanna add like 3M, like, um, I want to have the collar, some fucking crazy material. Like my next, I'm I'm gonna create a new group, new clothing line, high end fashion, streetwear. Okay, cool. So overall, though, um, what's next for Ski Mask in 2019? What's next for Ski Mask? Um, CEO status. Expect me to sign a couple artists. That's worth it. Just wait on it. Tim with your bitch at night like Nick Jackie Josh, how we team your bitch. Michael Jackson one glove I hit. Crying in the club with my stick. And get because how I got slimes on deck. Metal arm like just flick big. Two girls, two cups, no I had to level up. Eddie Mario mushroom quick. Let these niggas be chickens like a nugget, they be just actors. There's a Washington. Yo, cut though, cut though, cut though. They be on my nuts though. Nuts though, nuts though, cause I don't give a fuck ho, fuck ho, fuck ho. I might be around squirrels cause a nigga is a nut ho. Yo.